Hey guys, Unity 2019 and the Unity Hub come with new support for setting up Android for Unity with the SDK and the NDK. In this video I'll show you how to bring your game onto your mobile device and we start with the Unity Hub in version 2.0. On the installs tab here are my installed Unity versions and for the first one, the Unity 2019 beta, you can see the installed Android build support. When you press the add button, you can get and install a new or better to say different version of Unity. Select your version, press next and after that you can add modules to your install. The Android build support is checked already but below this you can now install the Android SDK and NDK tools, which is awesome because now you don't have to download it from an external web page anymore. But you can add this to an installed version as well, just open add modules and here you can select the SDK and NDK as we did before. Then I press next, accept the license terms and the Android tools will be downloaded and installed. I speed this up a bit, after that you can see that the tools are available. Alright, the next step is to create a new project, call it Test Android, and I'm creating a lightweight render pipeline project to see if we can bring the demo to an Android device. I press the Create button and Unity 2019 is started, and this is the demo scene of the lightweight render pipeline project. I select the main camera and then I press Shift and F to adjust the view. In this tutorial I don't care for the resolution for a mobile device, I will focus on building the game or the scene and then deploy and run it on this device. So I open Edit Preferences and under the External Tools everything we need for Android development is installed the JDK, SDK, NDK and Gradle. And when you uncheck this you can see that the path to the Android tools is defined correctly. So the tools are installed, I check this again. And with these settings we can go ahead and build the game for Android. So I go to Open File, Build Settings and for the platform I switch to the Android tab. My device is not connected yet, so no real device is listed in the Devices dropdown, but anyway I can already switch the platform to Android. I also speed this up a bit here. And after that I press build and run and set the name of the APK file that we are going to generate to test Android and then of course a message appears that there's no device plugged in. So that's a good time to do this. I connect my device with a USB cable to my PC. But still my device is not listed, but after pressing the refresh button I can see it in the list and select it. Great. Now you could define the build as a development build if you like, or enable settings like script debugging and then hit again the build and run button, build the same APK and then the game is compiled and built and deployed to your device. So let's have a look at my phone and here's the scene, works. I think these features make game development with Unity for mobile devices much simpler. In previous versions it really had been a hassle. I hope you liked the tutorial guys, if you do then don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions add these to the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.